Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Red Flame Thor. Welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we're back and better than ever. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review, unboxing, and a gameplay test of the Elgato HD 60 S Plus. Now, oh my god, this is just beautiful just by looking at the box right here, as you can see. So basically, before I start the video, I just want to say a huge thanks to all these people here, because it's a big list for getting me the Elgato. Like, I wasn't even originally gonna get it, like, anytime soon, but since my birthday came up, like, a week ago, my friends, like, threw me a birthday party, and they bought me this, and they pitched in, so I'm, like, really thankful, because I've been wanting this for, like, I don't even know how long. Honestly, I would just talk about it constantly, but they finally got it, and I I'm really thankful. Like, honestly, thank you to, like, everybody here on the entire list. I, like, I don't know, it's just, I just like looking at it so much because the box looks so nice and so professional and so smooth like oh my god just look at that anyways let's get right into the review so right off the bat guys as you can see this is the cover of the elgato hd s elgato hd 60 s plus and you can see that it has the logo um it looks like a regular elgato but here's the difference so it can record in 4k 60 hdr 1080p 60 hdr usb 3.0 an instant game view now i think the only difference between this and the s itself is that there's hdr in it so that's really dope this is such a beautiful box right off the bat i'm really excited to open this so let's get right into it want to make sure it comes out clean look at that look at that clean i tell you clean what what yo 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 look at this okay so right right off the bat like looking at the box as you can see super nice super nice literally the algo itself two cables and instructions are not long so let's uh so just to get a better view of how it looks um this is showing how to download it and how to plug it in so yeah so this is how you get uh, the app or the program for what you need to have on the computer and so to start off let's just get a hand of the elgato Wow, so just feeling it, it's very nice and uh, light. Very smooth, very smooth, and has such a nice logo. Like, look at that. That looks so nice, so sleek. Um, as you can see here, um, I don't know what that says, but Elgato. Wow. So over here, we got stickers. Now, this looks nice. I, I feel like I could just put this somewhere on my PC. This is, I think, instructions. I'm not going to go into this because there's a lot in here. You guys can read that if you want and the two wires we got the hdmi cable and we got the i forgot what this is called the 3.0 cable i'm pretty sure so that's perfect so basically we got all of the cables here that's dope right here and the elgato hd s60 plus right here now coming here is just the box uh, that's basically it and that's literally everything in the box super clean super simple literally these three things and the box explaining everything Plus you got these two, you know, the sticker and the instructions to display and everything. Okay guys, so I basically set it up and it looks really confusing, but it's actually not. So this cable is coming from the PlayStation itself. So it's the HDMI cable. This cable, the smaller one, runs into the PC so we can capture the gameplay. And this one is actually going into my monitor right now. So this is how it all connects and it records the gameplay. So let's get right into my computer. Now that the software has finally been completed, as you can see right off the bat, it's a really simple design. Um, it's the 4K capture utility software. Now, right now, I turn on my PlayStation, but I think since I have OBS on, it's interfering. But it should be on, and you should see my screen, but I'll show you that later. So, as you can see, it's just black. Um, at the bottom, it's showing that it's recording. Um, it's not actually recording, but like it's the time. If I were to click it, it would show how much time I've been recording. This is where the name is. 
This is to screenshot. This is the mic, and you can see it's fluctuating because I'm talking into the mic right now. And since there's no gameplay, there's no sound, but this should be the sound. Over here, this is the source, the capture. So this is basically what I'm capturing right now, the type of gameplay and the quality, which is 1080p, 59 FPS. And this is how much space I have on my hard drive. So if I go in the top right, it will show my settings. So this is like the more technical stuff. Like if you guys want to adjust anything that you do not like, you can basically go to settings and you can see right here. So I could format it. Um, if I have stream link to what quality I want, this is the software version. If I go to device, this is what I'm capturing. So if you have multiple capture cards, you can basically check and change it. Then over here is basically just the audio. So if you guys have any audio issues, you can go here and replace it or change it. Picture, this is to adjust the imaging of your screen. Like if you want your gameplay to be more brighter, if you want it to be more colorful, you know, change the hue, you know, mess around, have fun, you know, picture is here for you. For recording, this is basically um, where your file is going to go to your video is so i changed it so then my videos go to my f file which is my hard drive and then i named the elgato same with my screenshot and then for my video encoder that is my gpu uh, over here is what you could actually set your quality to so you can see it's 720 1080 1440 uh 2160p you know and it keeps on going on and that's basically what you could put it at but i set mine to default this is the bit rate to see how nice and crisp it is and last one is mic so i put my mic which is the samsung meteor um and then you could uh change the gain of it and the input level so basically that is all for the software now let's get right into the gameplay okay guys now that we're on the playstation 4 menu as you can see it is so nice just looking at the 1080p 60 fps like as i move right now it is so smooth and you could obviously see the quality is really good and i don't know to me it is just so nice just the smoothness the quality how crisp it is so let's just see how the games are going to be i'm going to do a quick montage for you guys let's get right into it Hi right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I did hope you guys enjoyed this full review unboxing slash game test review. Honestly, personally, for my final review, I think this is such an amazing product. But the only thing is that maybe you don't need it right now if you guys are starting on YouTube. Maybe it's for like those top tier content creators or people who are planning to make even more content in the future. I think those are the people who should be getting this capture card. But for now, like maybe for me, you know, I don't need it, but since I already have it because of all my friends, I am so blessed to have it and I'm going to use it to its full potential. So that is my final verdict, my final review for it. Um, honestly, the gameplay looks absolutely amazing. 1080p, 60 FPS. Great part about it is that you could put it up or down. So I don't know, like even if you guys want it to be a higher or lower quality, you guys got it. So any, anything you want for this capture card, it can basically do. So guys, I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Peace.